Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm in town. I'm going to meet somebody rather special. Who could it be? Let's go and find out. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. For what is a film I have been looking forward to doing for ages. I'm with the lovely David Greenaway. Hello David. Hello. Now, See I'm sure some of you will have seen David in many of my films before, dressed in his attire as our town crier. That rhymes. In his attire as our town crier, I like that. Yeah, if you want that, you can have it, which is a giveaway. You're getting all poetic on me already. You're getting all poetic. Oh. Anyway, David's also a keen street photographer, and hence the camera and he's going to do some street photography. And the idea of today's film is that we're just going to wander around town, have a chat, how the town's changed, get to know David. Um, interesting guy, done lots of things. So let's go for a wonder. There's Connor, our wonderful town clerk, who I need to go and see at some point, walking across the frame there. So here we are, David, with the, the town hall behind us. Centre of operations for all oh, things town crierish, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely, it's the head office where I get all the requests for all the weird and wonderful things that I have to do. Although sometimes I get requests through other channels rather than just the town hall. Done a lot of things there on the balcony. I think one of the scariest things was sadly announcing the death of the monarch and the succession, succession of um, King Charles. Uh, and that was done from there. back back for me. Right, right from there, and this place is full of people. And I remember reading this about the hardest script I've ever had to read. Uh, all one sentence. Oh. Practiced it loads. Do they not do punctuation? No, they don't. Oh. Well, a little bit of punctuation, but uh, it was, uh, yeah, it was a scary one, that was. Uh, it couldn't get that one wrong. That had to be right, so I, I practiced that loads of times, that particular crime. Ah. Uh. Yeah, that was pretty epic. And other times it's doing lots of fun things, you know, starting off road runs and things like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Motorcycle yeah. rallies. And doing interviews with me. Uh, and uh, <laughs> Yeah, they're the scariest things. Yeah, well, so what, do you remember when you first walked into that town hall over there and applied to be the town crier? What was in your mind? What made you think of doing it? Oh, right, yeah. Why well, did you become a town crier? Well, I was... Um, I was actually teaching at St Dunstan's School at the time, and uh, and it was the end of term, and there, there was a presentation of a, a memorial pre award to, for sport. Yes. Uh, for a, a memorial prize for um, Graham Cole's previous town prior. Yes, yes. And I got home, and I was sort of stood at the back of the hall watching this, and noticed one of my old pupils, uh, Graham Cole's son, presenting this. And, yeah. And uh, I got back home and said to my wife, well, there will be a fun job to do. I wonder if they're advertising for a town crier at all, you know. And uh, I looked and found out that uh, I'd missed the application date by four days. Oh, what? Well, I sent an, I sent an email off anyway, and the rest is history. Yes. And I remember uh, having to do having a little interview up there, yeah. and then having to do a town cry on the steps. The caretaker found a bell, thrust it in my hand. And I just happened to have a speech handy. I got out. <laughs> I stood on that top step and I did my cry. It was about six o'clock one evening. Yeah. And uh, some people came out of Gigi's, the uh, restaurant here. And the interviewing panel was sat in the bus shelter here. And uh, and they said, well, what's this lunatic doing shouting his head off over there on the steps? <laughs> and they said he's interviewing to be town crier. And the people came out of Gigi's and said, look, what an excellent job he's doing. Given the job, and the rest is history. The rest so is that's history. That's how I kind of slipped into that one, really. Ah. Um, but it's a great job. I absolutely love doing it and meeting people, uh, visitors from all over the world, uh, and getting involved in lots of fun things mm -hmm. and meeting delightful people. It's the best job in the world, and I feel so honoured to be town crier of this wonderful town. Uh, so that's where it all started. Yeah, on the steps. And so that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you become town crier of Glastonbury in one easy lesson. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Shall we go for a wander around yeah, the town? Yeah, I'll point out some of the little places if you like that I, I obviously I use the, the town hall and stand on that balcony. You've got got a bit of height there. Yeah. And that's quite handy when you want to project. Project. Place. Yeah. Um, over there, are the gateway to the uh, abbey. That's quite handy when it's chucking it down with rain. Ah, Merlin uses that as well, oh, doesn't absolutely. he? Absolutely. Yeah, we've got a we got a nice cosy arrangement. Yeah, yeah absolutely. He, you move in, he moves out, and vice really. versa. Yeah. And uh, that's quite handy when it's raining, because the worst thing about being a town when you're a town crier, you need three hands when it's raining: one for the brolly, one for the bell, and another one for the scroll. And you haven't got three hands, so mm. it's really tricky. So that's one of my shelter opportunities when it's pouring with rain. I notice you have a, a rainbow assistant quite often. Oh yeah, rainbow sometimes comes along, yes. And uh, like carnival times, you know, she's very flamboyant in her dress. Her dress, yeah. It looks lights and everything. Absolutely, crackling. sets you off nicely. It's just perfect for events like that. Now, I, this is something I've got to talk about because this is something that's changed, sadly, and I miss it terribly. And that is what was the Mockerberry. I mean, this wasn't the cafe, this was an institution uh, yeah. in this town, wasn't it? Um, I did briefly meet the new owner, um, yeah. and I don't know what the delay is, but it was supposed to be open before now, uh, and I've tried to get in touch and I've not managed yet, so hopefully well, there'll be some news about this soon. Hopefully it'll continue, I'm sure it'll continue to thrive, because that's the lovely thing about Glaston, when something closes down and something else comes back in its place, we don't have empty shops for very long. No, we don't. And, uh, and or cafes, and it'll be good. I know it'll be good. I mean, one of my favorite spots to cry is on the Market Cross. Which is where we are now. And ladies and gentlemen, yeah. I do want to point out over there, today is actually St. David's oh. Day. And I thought this would be a good day to meet our St. David here in town. <laughs> Let's go onto the square. I'm half Welsh. Waist down on Welsh. Yeah, my dad was Welsh, so I, I'm very proud of my Welsh roots. Hmm. Um, when, I, when I do my crying here, uh, my favourite spot, best spot for me, is right here uh, on the top step, simply because, um, well, there's a number of reasons. I've got the sun for, for warmth. Um, I've got this thing to shield me from the cold wind that blows down Northland. Which it does. And the stone, the shape of the stone, really kind of acts almost like an amplifier. It reflects all the sound out. And I can see who's coming from two different directions. It's absolutely perfect for crying, this little spot here. And of course, you could be heard up the high street yeah. that way. Yeah. And then that back down to the yeah. town hall that way. It's a good spot. I often, yeah. if there's a parade, I will film from here. Yeah, yeah, it is a lovely spot here. You're right in the centre of things. I always remember once uh, I was crying at the bottom of the high street and somebody at the top of the high street said that they could hear every word. Really? Uh, that is music to a town cry's ear. Oh, isn't it just? Yeah. Is there, a, is there a, like a league of town choirs or a covenant? Yes. Or what do, you, yeah. what do you call a group? Hey, how you doing, buddy? Nice to see you. How's it going here? Okay. This is the Hi, wonderful... John. Linda Ravenscroft, the artwork in this place, ladies and gentlemen, if you're in Glastonbury, is fabulous. Yeah. We are about to interview Linda at some point when we can tie down for five minutes, but this is one of the Save best. Me, you? <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the best places to come if you want to see. This lady's famous the world over, and this art is stunning. Already for the fairy invasion. That's another thing I like about this high street. All the shopkeepers know each other. Yeah. Everybody's friendly. There's a community, isn't there, in the high street yeah, here? Yeah, it's lovely here. Yeah. This is a favourite spot for me as a town crier because, you know, I'm very lucky as a town crier. I've got all these lovely backdrops and you're about to be run over, Gabriel. <laughs> um, not, not every town crier has a 1452 building behind them. Uh, and, you know, when it's closed, we've got these lovely big gates doors, whatever you call them, doors, it's it's a lovely spot and it's uh, what a background. Isn't it? And, and standing in front of the, tri we're talking about the tribunal as well, it's a nice spot for crying on.
There's another one of our closed banks. Yeah. Remember publicising for them? Absolutely. Yeah. Whereas, of course, it's now it's the nationwide. Yeah. Didn't this used to be the speaking tree, the Hollow Hills, didn't it? Yeah. I think round about here, there used to be a, a electricity board showroom. I think, I think it's where the Blue Note Cafe is now. You used to buy cookers and things in there. You could buy a cooker there. Yeah. What was it? Because when I where I lived, it was Swab. So Swab. Oh look, it's Southern Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, yes. Yes. today just is talk, perfect. Right. We've been talking about you. Yeah. Just saying we shelter under the archway in front yeah. of the abbey. Yeah. Are you well now? Yes, I'm feeling really a lot better. Better. Yeah. better. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a rare moment. We not only have the the town crier in plain clothes, we've also got Merlin in plain clothes together on the high street. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. You won't see that anywhere else except right here on this channel. High Street Lassenbury. You guys are crushing in on my interview. Good to see you. We'll see you tomorrow, probably. Yeah, okay, bye. See you later, Merlin. Now, what I'm trying to think what this place was before. Um, oh, Gothic Image. Wasn't that was Gothic, Gothic Image, Gothic. yes. And of course, here we are at the tribunal. Yeah. And this is another absolutely perfect uh, backdrop. I mean, you know, with a gate this old, you know. You really blend in well when you're in your town crier regalia. It's uh, in a lovely spot, and, and the stonework here. You know, lots of people like photographed me against all this stuff. Yeah. Can you blame that? I'm beautiful. And of course, the town council, I believe, now have taken this over, and it's going to open. Right. Because it's been spending most of its life closed for yeah. people, which is really yeah. sad. And that would be good, yeah. That would be good. And I'm trying to think here The about gauntlet, that. I can tell you about the gauntlet. I remember the gauntlet very well. Yeah. The gauntlet used to be a little supermarket called the Spa. That's right. And it was a double-fronted shop and it was but here. Before that, I think around about here, there used to be a Curry's. So that used to be Curry's before well, that? Curry's, around about here. I can't remember the exact location, but... All these sort of main street shops yeah. that have disappeared. Well, we don't have any now in Glasgow, uh, do we? But what we have now are wonderful, unique shops, especially that you know, especially tailor, tailored for our visitors. Absolutely, I, I think uh, they're really lovely to see all those crystal shops and uh, and selling their real unusual gifts yeah uh, yeah and of course behind us here we have another bank which is yeah. now a shop oh yes I remember we were that's right we were yeah another we bank we did a mock funeral here didn't we we you did remember that? i remember it very well yeah. i helped organize it that's yes because right. yeah. when the when the banks closed ladies and gentlemen yeah. glastonbury had three banks at the time of closure so lloyd's was, uh, was that the midlands midlands yeah lloyd's was further oh. down and at the time of closure, three banks decided they were going to pull out of a town of nearly yeah. 10,000 inhabitants yeah. within six weeks of each other. Right, yeah. So on the council, myself and a few others, we organised a campaign to name and shame the banks. Yeah. Not that we wanted them to stay. We wanted an alternative and we got it because we now have the nationwide, um, nationwide further down. But uh, yeah, that's, so that's another thing that's changed. We've got no banks anymore. We're talking of lovely spots to stand where I'm crying. Go on. Uh, here's another one. I stand here, especially for the photographers who have got a sharp eye. The green man, yes. Uh, and of course you are a green man in your regalia. My regalia, which is green. They get quite a original shot there. Ho oh, yay! Ho oh, yay! Oh yay, citizens of Glastonbury and visitors to this fine town from near and afar. 
let it be known to all ye good people here gathered that it's the fairy weekend. Both today and tomorrow in the town hall, there is a giant fairy fair. Entrance is free, well worth a visit. And do try, do try the chocolate brownies. They are to die for. Long may Glastonbury flourish. God save the King. One of the real problems, I think, being a town crier in this busy high street, are the buses. These enormous purple moving walls of sound. And I, sometimes I just have to stop because nobody can hear me. That's quite quiet. Yeah, on the other side of it. Where do you stand on pedestrianisation of the town? Well, I, I, I'd like to see it myself. I think it would transform Glastonbury. But on the other hand, I can understand the arguments why it has to be a through route. So I'm not really sure. Here we are approaching somewhere that you've cried many times. Oh, yes. Here on our left, we have the Holy Thorn. Holy Thorn, yeah. And in front of us, the wonderful St John's, which has if you didn't know it, the second tallest tower in Somerset after the church in Taunton, which name escapes me. But it has a very similar design, but it's just a little bit taller than ours. And I think there are birds up there uh, nesting. I think there are. I think they've got falcon up falcon. there, haven't they? Yeah. yeah you, you've just been buzzed on camera by a pigeon. I think we've got that on camera. <laughs> that was, in fact, there's his buddy over there looking the doorway. Lovely holy thorn tree. Yes. Yes, we've been here a few times and uh, had the uh, the mayor and the oldest child from St John's St. Church. John's. Um, yes. Yeah, and as you can see, look, it's actually in bud, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Yeah. Is it flowering? It has these beautiful right. little tiny little flowers. I don't know if you could see those there. Beautiful. And this only does this twice a year, doesn't it? Is yeah. it Christmas and Christmas Easter? And Easter yeah. So we're coming up to Easter, so it's bang yeah. on time. It is, yes. Bang on time. On cue. Yes. yes. Right, another place where you um, uh, have been known to trade your wares as a town crier is um, here in the area in front of the church. So let's go there next. So this is another spot that you would normally um, that you would normally work in, isn't it? Here yes. by the, the the cenotaph. Are these predefined these places that you have to go to, or is this your experience? My choice. This My choice. you can go anywhere. I can go anywhere. Town Cry of Glastonbury can go just about anywhere you jolly well wants to. You've got an access all areas bad. Indeed. Yeah. That's a good I, thing. I do like standing here because usually the place is buzzing with the street entertainers and people it is and, it uh, is there's normally a guitarist over there i'm yeah, surprised he's not here today there's some music around and uh and they always very kindly just stop their music and let me do my cry and, yeah and then um, move on to the next location yeah. it is a nice spot yeah. yeah shall we head on up the high street because we're coming to what some people as referred to as the brick wall, because when I first came to Glastonbury yeah. in 92, the high street effectively stopped where that zebra crossing is. Yeah. Nobody went beyond that. Tourists went up one side, crossed the zebra crossing, down the other side. Yeah. That's starting to change now. We're getting shops oh, up there. Yeah. You cry up there as well, don't I you? I do, yeah. I try and make a point of going right to the end of the high street and doing cries. Mm. Sometimes I'm crying against the the walls yes. rather than talking to people. Yes. But I like to get up there just so that it sort of focuses people's minds that we do have a long full high street. We do. Um, and yeah, so I, I, I get right to the top. Well, let's head that way. Okay. And here we are at the Zebra Crossing. I'm filming this because a friend of mine, Jeff Kellison, has got a bit of a soft spot for Belisha Beacons. And here you are, ladies and gentlemen. Two Belisha beacons. Look at that. 
So this used to be kind of where tourists came to, isn't it? They didn't come much further than this. But there's a lot more to go. There is a lot more to see. I mean, over there we've I... got the Avalon Club. Yeah. I always think it, if we had cafes up here with outside seating, it might draw more people up. It might do, mightn't it? But again, you've got these lorries and buses thundering through. Yeah. I, I think if the place didn't have any traffic, I think the place would sprout more cafes. Oh, I think it would. Areas where people can sit and enjoy. I think it would. Uh, so I think on balance, I think I, I would love to see a pedestrian place. Uh, because this used to be Boots, isn't it? Now This it's, used uh, to be Boots to Chemist. Now it's our comic shop. Comic shop. I've not been in there yet. Have you not? Do you want to go in and I'll introduce you to the owner? Oh, what? After you. Okay. We filmed this this shop recently, ladies and gentlemen. Um, hey, uh, hey, boys! Everybody's in here today. There's John over there. Hi, John. They let anyone in there? They? they do. Yeah, Speaking of which, is Paul around? <laughs> Hello, buddy. This, yeah, this is good. Now, this is Paul who runs the comic shop here in Glastonbury, and I brought yeah, you to town well, crier to me. Right. Well, very well, thank you. Good? So we've been walking up the high street talking about oh, how the high street's changed, and we came here, and of course this used to be boots till they left the town. And But hey, I'm glad they did, because look at what we've got now, oh, ladies yes. and gentlemen. We'll get a better chemist soon anyway. We're going to get yeah. a better chemist yeah. soon anyway, and now we've got this. It's what the town needs for the tourists, isn't it? It's, it's, um, yeah. Different. He's a different crowd to the town. And as business picking here, doing very well. Good. Very good. Excellent. Oh, so, so please. And there's a new sign coming, Cosmic Comet. Oh, good. Seen it? I've seen your mock up. When's it going up? Well, you can start doing it once you've got a dry period. I don't know whether it's a post when you see, so when it gets a day off, you can start doing it. I gotcha. So it's a work in progress. Maybe next week we'll give it a start. Yeah. So good week. Good. Nice got one. special promotions. Remember, you got a town crier. Absolutely. You give you a shout. Happy to do it for well, you. Nice to meet you anyway. Nice okay, to see you. Bye. Yeah. There you yeah. go. So as you can see, this is a lovely, vibrant shop where Boots used to be. So sometimes changes for the good, you know, and the stuff you can buy in here, you cannot buy anywhere else. It this is, is, this is totally. Not, this is the Look special it. thing about Glastonbury is we've got fascinating shops. We have. That absorb the tourists. They, we have yeah. and they do. You might not be able to buy a uh, a box of screws here, but you can buy a Buddha. Yeah, and also, what's also quite interesting is after lockdown, many yeah. high streets went into decline yeah. on free for. Yeah. I mean, I went back and filmed a town I used to live in called yeah. Ormskirt, right. and it's been destroyed. The, yeah. the shops are closed, there's boardings up going on, but yeah. here, and here we are, out of season, and look at our high street, how vibrant it is, in the sunshine. Now, here's an interesting little... Um, I did cover this in a recent video. Over to our right is the Eliachi, which is an Indian takeaway. An Indian sit-down restaurant, I beg your pardon. It does takeaway and does very fine food. And it was the only Indian my mum ever sat down and ate an Indian me uh, meal in. Across the road, behind your good self, we have... The Beckett's Inn. Oh, now, yes. I did cover this recently. This is great. The Beckett's Inn don't sell food and you're welcome to take food in with you. The Eliachi don't do alcohol and they're happy for you to take your alcohol in. Right. So you could be in the Beckett's, yeah. you could head across the road, you can get your Indian, you can bring it back here. Yeah. Do you know the people in here? Yes. They're wonderful people yes, and their so beer garden so is superb. Is the word symbiotic arrangement? Symbiotic, I think. Uh, yes, it is. It benefits both. It does, yeah. yes. It's a very symbiotic yeah. arrangement and but it's amazing. When you talked about, you know, shops closing and so on, I mean, one of the things at the end of my cry, just before I shout, God save the king, I always shout, long may Glastonbury flourish. Yes, yes. And it's working. It appears to be flourishing, doesn't it? There's another charity shop. We have many of these. Yeah. And this used to be Woolworths, of course. Woolies, Woolies. Woolies. Right, yes. And now I hear talk that Woolies is, is attempting a comeback. That's what I heard, yes. 
Oh, it'd be nice if it might have come back here, wouldn't it? And I hope you're going to spin around and, and photograph clips and curls, because this is the official hair cutting organization from the town crier. Is it? You used yes. to be X or something, didn't yeah, you? I've had my hair cut in there. I don't have a lot of scope these days. No, no. Uh, I'm, in fact, I think it's a it's a work of, um, what is it a work of? I suppose it's, you could say it's a work of dedication. Indeed. Dedication. Yeah, it's so depressing now. I look down on the floor after I've had a haircut, and there's so little to show for it. There's nothing there, is there? No. But it still takes a long time. It's the polishing. It's the polishing yeah, afterwards. What do they use? Is it... Is it some sort of Indian oil or is it a, a polishing I, compound? I ask that question a lot. Yes. Most of my school children. So yeah. why have you got a shiny head? No. Yeah. And yeah. do they come along and do this? And tap you no. on the... No. No, you're not no. allowed to do that. They don't do that. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you see our town cry, oh. please do not tap him on the head. He doesn't like it. <laughs> oh, dear. So there's another charity shop. More, another witch. You see, these are the sorts of shop that weren't up this end before. Um, I'm trying to remember what, do you remember what any of these were? No, oh, yeah, no. But, great spot. Bit of elevation. Bit of elevation, yeah. you can't beat a bit of elevation. Never, never turn your back on a bit of elevation. Absolutely. Help get the message across. Absolutely. You're great. And some more artwork, that's another thing we are really lucky with in this town is our artwork. Oh, yes. We are so lucky. Oh, yeah. And the inspiration for most of our artwork comes from right over there, a lady called Kim Bonkholz. Yes. who works right over there in the heart of the tribe and is the driving force behind our mural trail. This is a new one, isn't it? I think it was commissioned well, by I, the shop. I don't think I've seen this one before. Yeah, I think it was commissioned by the shop. Yeah. They made, they made it look beautiful, haven't they? Yeah. yeah. Here's one of our, our florists up here in our computer shops. It's nice to see the daffodils, daffodils out. Are there. My mum's favourite flowers were daffodils. Mine, mine too, I love the daffodils. I think that's the Welsh thing, because my parents lived yeah. in Wales. I think that's that's kind of where that comes from. Well, here we are, we're almost at the top of the high street. So it's been really, really interesting talking to you, Mr. Greenway. It's what, been bit, it's been amazing. Bit of exercise. Bit of exercise. Yeah. And thank you very much for the cup of tea and the cake, by the way. Absolutely. Uh, now, David did bring his camera with him when we were oh, yeah. going to look at... Um, he's very keen on street photography. But I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen, maybe we could come back and he could show us how you do street photography well, in another video yeah, one day. My wife says that I do amazing street photography. I don't know how, how it is that uh, I managed to capture people's expressions at just the right moment. Mm. I. I just press the button, but... Answer Adams, the moment of decision. Yeah, yeah. I think it's something to do with the fact that after being a teacher for so long, mm. I recognise when a face lights up. Mm. I'm very much attuned to that. Yeah. And so I know just the right moment to press that button to get that smile. Because that's what a face does when you're getting through to the yeah. person behind yeah, it as a teacher. Right. Yes, yeah. And I suppose I'm tuned into that after... 52 years of teaching. <laughs> Which, of course, you were a teacher here in the school, weren't it? It's here at our local school. Oh, for a while, yeah. Yeah. Time to, yeah. And I know I've been walking around town with you before, and it's, hello, sir. Oh, yeah. Or you get some cheeky little teenager who's no longer at school <laughs> who comes up and... <laughs> but, yeah, it's been yeah. fantastic talking to you, Dave. It's I want to thank you so great. very thank much you. for coming out with us yeah. today. We shall meet again. We shall meet again. Next probably time I should be in, in uniform. uniform. You'll, you'll be the man in green again. Yeah. Never say uniform, because they're all different. That's right, that's <laughs> right. And yours is unique and it's different to the last town cries, isn't oh, it? Oh yes, yeah, the last three town cries, we've all been green. Yeah. Different, different albums. I think, I mean, most lots of town cries are green. I think it's a good colour for them. I do, yeah. I think it's a good colour. Well, I want to say thank you so very Pleasure. much. It's been an absolute pleasure walking through the town with you. And I've learned a few shops that I didn't know <laughs> um, down there. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, um, from David, the town crier, and yours truly, I would like to say a huge, huge thank you for watching and a goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs>